Welcome to The Real Spill, where we spill the tea. My name is Kristen Nichols. And I'm Nahajani Torres. And I'm here with Ahmad. Thank you for coming today. How's yes, going, thank you so much. And so we're just going to get started with what products you offer and what exactly is in front of us right now. As of right now, I have hot sauce. This is sweet garlic heat. This one is our bowl. And I'm, right now, I'm out of stock of jerk. And what made me want to get into making hot sauce was the fact that I was having to preserve all of the things I was growing and the best way for me to preserve my peppers and things that I was growing was to put it in the bottle and present it in the sauce. Okay. Okay. So as we know, you know, not a lot of people make hot sauce and it's very unique. So we just wanted to know like, what is your mission? Like what was your mission at the start of your business? To definitely be able to give people flavors that they've never had before and be able to give them something that they would want to eat. They didn't like the food that they were having at the moment. They'd be able to put this on there and instantly enjoy the food that they're eating. So, mm -hmm. would you say this is like a healthier option than like all of the like, like the red stuff? hot yeah, and like Tabasco? Cliche, and... Is it like healthier option? I would definitely say ours doesn't have anything added extra. There's no food colorings or anything to make it preserved. So, okay, okay. Seems like this is definitely a healthier, better option that a lot of people should get their hands on. So just let them know like, where do you sell this and like your Instagrams and like social media platforms. Before you do that though, I have a question. Like say I wanted like a custom hot sauce. Could you do that? Uh, you could definitely come in and <laughs> pre-order your custom made flavor. You know? Okay, like. that's dope. Okay, cool. Okay, custom made okay continue. But um, what was the question you just asked? Your like just your social media, like where you like, we can buy this at. Um, I'm looking to get this in the element store on campus. Um, I'm getting this in oh, chain stores back in Ruffin area. I'm trying to get them in the regular grocery stores as well. So just look out for it. It should be in stores coming near you. Okay, I'm here with Jumir. Thank you for coming today. Thanks for having yes. me. So we just want to know what your business is about and what we have on the hangers right here. Um, my business is Bands Over Friends. I'm an urban streetwear brand promoting uh, spiritual abundance and financial prosperity. So uh, I do have a few pieces from my last line. So this is a t-shirt I dropped from my summer collection. On the back of it, this is uh, who I dubbed the band man. This is kind of like a character of myself holding up some money. <laughs> Say F Cloud get paid, you know, the money way. That's our motto over here. And then 888, those are the angel numbers for financial abundance and spiritual prosperity and then also I have a QR code right here that you can scan and when you scan it it takes you to my website link my TikTok and my Instagram that's dope very creative uh this black piece right here this is the first hoodie I ever dropped so I dropped this last April April 22nd 2022 is when I went live officially and this is the first original hoodies that got the brand out the mud and it ain't if I get paid across the back and I'm gonna go right here this is from my whole lot of red collection. I dropped this the first week of class when I came back to A&T this year. Right here, across the back, you got 888, if get paid. Then I got some shorts too to match right here. Also on the insides of my hood, I have silk lining. So when you put it on, you know, you ain't gotta worry about your hair getting messed up, your waves are still lay down, be fresh, you'll be cool. And on the side, I got this and all of this, this real uh, soft and fuzzy, real cozy like. Currently, I have on sale my unknown but paid collection where this is cool gray. I have beanie hats on sale and I also have it in true blue, royal blue right here. Across the back, it says 888, unknown but paid. Got the letters again, silk line and silk inside the hood, and then the QR code on each sleeve so you can scan it and take it to my website links. I love that, and I love the silk. Cause yes. you know we're not trying to mess up our hair or anything. Indeed. And indeed. I love the QR code, how they could just go to the page right off the jacket. Mm -hmm. That's so dope. And these are the sweatpants to go with this. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So, like, what made you get started with this brand? Like, why did you want to create a brand? Um, for as long as I can remember, I always had a real passion for fashion. Um, I always like looking good, feeling good. The psychology said, saying goes, if you look good, you feel good. If you feel good, you do good. So I just always like looking fly. I always felt like a better person. So in high school, uh, a lot of my friends would always tell me like, yeah, bro, you love clothes so much. You like hoodies. You start your own brand, do your own thing. I'm like, no, nah, I didn't really want to get into the business side of things. But then COVID happened and I was in the house a lot, just bored. So I would have draw designs on my iPad. 
and then I had like a lot of uh, money from unemployment too that I was getting at the time. So I just used that to put up as a front to start my business. And then I got my LLC in August of 2021 and I officially dropped my business in April of 2022. And since then I've just been trying to grow my business and keep the ball rolling. Nice. That's up. That's what's up. Yes, these look so good. I love the QR code. I love the silk and the um, hoodie. And I love the angel numbers on the back. I see a lot of the, like clothes with angel numbers on them, but yours actually has like meaning, meaning. to you, you know? Mm -hmm. So like when you started, what was the actual mission? Like I know you said that your, a lot of your friends would tell you that you should make a business, but you wasn't really trying to get on the business aspect. What, like, why, why'd you do it then? Like, just because you got some money, you was like, I'm gonna do it now because I got some money or like, you know, right? Um, honestly, I just want to make people feel good. Like, I'm a psychology major, so I just feel like uh, this is really hard in the black community, being a black person in America, just to keep yourself upbeat, especially during the pandemic. We was cooped up inside. A lot of was going on in the world. We right. really couldn't do much. So I just put the angel numbers on the back of my clothes. So when you put it on, you can just feel good. Like, I want you to feel good, feel motivated when you're out doing your do. You going to work. Um, you in school, you in class, you just feel motivated. Like the Android numbers, they protecting you, they guiding you to just go hustle, do your thing, get your bag, and just be your best self in life. Okay. And do you have any upcoming like things dropping soon? Like, is this it for right now? Or are you gonna drop a um, new hoodie, a new shirt? Yeah. So for right now, I do have the gray and blue sets on sale. Currently, I have the uh, beanie hats as well, in blue and gray. Uh, I do have a few pop-up shop events I will be appearing at on campus and throughout North Carolina in the area. And I do plan on dropping again in April around Aggie Fest with my spring collection. I will have new hoodies and new colors, different hats and different colors. And I also want to drop my first female collection. So I am looking for models for that. So hit me up on my socials at Bands OVA Friends. That's Bands with a Z, OVA Friends with a Z on Instagram with two Z's at the end. If you're interested in modeling, I'm always trying to get new people to wear my clothes and styles. So yeah, hit me up, man, yeah. Okay, thank, thank you. you so much. No problem, I thank y'all for having me. Today. Yes, on to the next business. Today I'm here with Miles, and he has the brand. Culture Apparel. Alrighty, and we just wanna thank you so much for taking yes. the time to speak with us today. Thank y'all yes. for the opportunity. And our first question is just going to be to let us know a little bit more about your business and what's in front of us right now. All right, so I'm Miles Norwood, and I'm the CEO of Culture Apparel. I started Culture back in 2020, more of a way to express myself just while I was stuck inside the house during quarantine and everything, and more so just give my message to like, the rest of my community. Message being what? What's your message? So the message behind culture is to rewrite the culture. We tell all of our customers to rewrite the culture and we inspire them to do so because I like to tell people to go above the stereotypes and limitations placed on their life and take control of their situations to kind of redirect it to help better themselves. Okay. Would you say you always wanted to start a brand or just during the pandemic it like kind of hit you like... I need to do something different. Like, I need to do something. So that's when you started, or? Well, I've always wanted to start a brand, but like, just being younger, I always like having school and like sports and everything. I never really had the time. But then during quarantine, not being able to do too much, it gave me more free time to just go ahead and start hitting the ground running and everything. Okay. And would you say it's kind of hard to maintain your business while being in school? Um, it's kind of hard. It's really big on time management, just keeping everything in order. But when I keep that in order, it's pretty easy to keep everything flowing smooth. Okay. And you already kind of told us like the mission behind your brand, but we just, I just wanted to know like if there was like a, any more like deeper meaning to your mission. Like you just want people to get more in tune with the culture. Like what does that really mean? So in order to rewrite your culture, the real thing behind it is like just being like black and American and everything, there's a whole lot of stereotypes and limitations placed in your life. And uh, just me specifically, I always felt like those limitations didn't define me. So I've always been inspired to go above them. And so within my brand, I wanted to inspire my community and the people that I love to go above them as well. So we all start moving up in the world as one. Okay, I love that. So yeah. tell us like what's in front of us, like the website, have anything else coming now, like all the different sizes you provide. All right, so th what I have on right now, plus these two is part two of our Heroes and Villains collection. Part one dropped earlier, this season, earlier last year, around August time. Uh, in the part two, we have this black colorway, this purple two-tone colorway, and the orange two-tone colorway. You can order them both on our website at www.culturexx.com and our Instagram at culturexx. Uh, we answer DMs, we ship all across America, and uh, we have sizes small to extra large. Do you guys do pickups on ANC campus, like uh, if they're on camp? Absolutely. Pickups, uh, you're able to designate that on the website as well. Okay, cool. That's dope. 
Okay, we love that. Like, yes. that's all we have for today. Do you have anything else, like, coming out soon? Like, dropping soon? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We have uh, shorts and graphic tees coming out this spring and summer. So please stay tuned for that. Follow our Instagram to see more. Okay. Definitely check them out on all the social media platforms. But that's all we have for Tea Tuesday. So make sure you stay tuned for next week.